G'day, big kid from the man cave. Today I'm going to introduce you to T-Rex. So here we go. And there she is, T-Rex. So what have we got with T-Rex? This is my, ah, oh, this is my bug out vehicle, or as I like to call it, my vehicle. So what we have here is a Nissan Tirano 2. It's an import job. It's a 2.7 litre turbo diesel. And she is a, a really decent car. Uh, this was Shell's first car actually. We traded her car in on this many years ago and uh, she's now upgraded to a Prado and I upgraded from my Hilux to this which was uh, quite a big step up to be honest uh, the old Hilux, she was a good old girl but uh, yeah, she just got a bit tired and um, just so slow <laughs> so this is my new addition as of a few months ago and I think we'll go through and have a bit of a squeeze. Uh, we'll start with the outside. As you can see, I've got some light bars there. I've been wanting to do a review on those for a little while, but I wanted to get this video out of the way first. Uh, this here is for my flag, which I will attach later and give you a, a look at that. Intercooled East Coast ball bar. Uh, I got a bit of a mix and match on tyres here, but these are the uh, these are second-hand tyres off my old man's Ute that he's been travelling with. So they've still got some good tread on them. He's just went out and uh, bought some more for himself, so he gave me his old ones. So they are hand cooks, I think I might actually uh, put some of these on lay-by and get some for myself because uh, they are full set because they are really good looking tyres and uh, they've lasted him a long time actually since he bought the car I think I'll have to double check that Here's my <coughs> zombie edition sticker yeah, she's had a bit of a hard life. But she still runs really well. She needs a little bit of work, but not too much. So it is a seven-seater, as you'll see when we get in there. Tough dog suspension. Uh, sorry, tough dog uh, torsion bars, but we have... Iron Man suspension recently in the last couple of years put in. That's my zombie hunting permit. So yeah, oh, four-wheel drive, automatic hubs. Yeah, not too bad. All right, let's get inside. Alrighty. Start with the, the the front dash mat. Always good to have. Great to keep your dash good, so it's good for resale. Camera equipment. Some parts for my door because my electric window uh, part of it broke, so got to get a new part from England, and I think they're about $170. For the whole uh, whole setup, Boss sound system, DVD player, Use your DVD on the roof there. Uh, really want to upgrade that to something with Bluetooth. That's an old system, so time to get a new one, I think. Oh, aircon! My God, that is cold. It is freezing cold. That aircon, I love it. Coming from New Zealand. Auxiliary cord because I don't have Bluetooth. UHF 40 channel, that's an old unit. Swap that for a swag, that was alright. 
keep my trauma kit in here just down there that's my auxiliary bank sheepskin car seat covers oh, I love these things flashlight that's my mag light with my LED bulb in phone it's my old phone but I've kept it because um, there's just some apps on there that I like to use also it's an extra camera uh, in there I've got uh, LED light for the flag and an allen key to adjust my spotties if I need to and a pen and a couple of other things so that's that there in the back uh, we've got a, a little caddy that clips onto that for the kids so yeah just clips on there and it's got a cup holder and some stuff in there pocket there under the seat here my old number plates on my year I've got to take those back to the transport department I have a five liter I think it is yes five liter collapsible bottle in case I need to get water if my radiator busts or something or um, just to collect some emergency water so that just sits under there what's that bit of chalk thanks children's that goes under there uh, paperwork for work all right under here we have snatch strap what's in there just one strap shackles various shackles and a um, lynch pin oh dear let me pack that up right, goes back in there I always carry it on me it always stays in the car it's just useful if you come across someone that's done themselves a mischief I've actually had to use it once because someone ran themselves into a ditch and a little car so I had to drag them out skull drag them out that was fun we have folding shovel and the flag it's the only tape I had but it was camo so I'm not complaining and that's just the arm for the jack so that's there I'll, uh, actually what I'll do is I'll just put this up and then we'll carry on okay so that's that there So I really looked after this girl. The tent is on its way out. Uh, the rear water squirter doesn't work because the hose is broken. I did get a fitting there and fix it all up, but um, it still won't push water out the back. I think there might be an, a bit too much dirt or something in there that I need to clean out of the jets. So I'll sort that out. Ah, uh, this is my trivia gear, work bag, uh, that I don't even use for work anymore, and my um, tow hitch pin. Um, let me get that stuff out, and we'll put the seat down. Alright, so that's just held up by a gas strut there, and you can hook that up to the uh, headrest on the middle row there. And he just clips down like that and I believe I'll need two hands for this 
There you go. Seven seats. I like to keep this in here just in case. Um, if you come across a family or something that's broken down and they need a lift out of somewhere or to a service station or something, you can carry them. It's nice to be a helpful citizen when you can be. Alright. Now let me get all my crap back in. Shouldn't forget my first aid kit. Which actually I've taken like quite a bit of stuff out of that so I uh, and I've put it in my EDC bag. So I'll have to go through that. It's uh, it past six months anyway since I did a review on that so it's probably due for a check over and see what uh, we can take out and put in. So you've got a bit of room there and uh, if you do want to go out for a camp for a few, few nights uh, with a mate, you can take that back seat out, it completely removes. The middle row can fold up against the front seats and then you can chuck all your gear and plenty of room. What have we got here? Liam's seat. It's bolted in. It's good. Strapped in. We have my poncho. And jumper leads. Had to use those before for someone else. Like I said, it's handy to be uh, a helpful citizen every now and then when you can. Okay, what do we got? It's in the sealer, I don't have anything in there. All right, keys, EDC, energizer torch, press torch, and I've just wrapped some uh, paracord around there to protect it. Beautiful dog. Someone's walking their shepherd. What else? Reflective strips. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Getting there. Alright, so these are reflective strips. And they are slap band. Um, I keep them on my steering wheel so that they're uh, easily accessible and they just go around here like this they don't annoy me when I'm driving and uh, that's in case I have a breakdown or someone else has broken down uh, at night you just slap those around your arms and your legs and yeah just so you're more visible to traffic my ADC bag that's just sitting in the footwell there that doesn't really annoy me um, my hair broom sticks up a little bit and might get a little bit scratchy but um, that really doesn't bother me so that's the driver's side um, I think that's all. I think that is T-Rex. Oh, I think there's my air fresheners. They don't smell anymore, but I just like the skulls. Oh, there is one thing I didn't show you. And it's over the other side. Just an organiser. I might take it off so we can have a decent look. So that just sits up on the uh, on the sun visor. I did have some more stuff in here, but um, 
I'm going to upgrade this and get a Molly one. They're not cheap, but uh, they are awesome. So I'll just unzip this. And inside here I have a notebook. Just so that uh, I can write down a number plate or something. Or if someone runs into someone at the shopping centre, I can write down a number plate and leave a note. A couple of glow sticks. Uh, this one is a white and that one is a red. Just uh, if there's something going on at night, breakdown, you're the first responder to an accident or something, you've got something there to make you visible and to warn people. Uh, and that's uh, either insect or bite, um, insect repellent or like a bite ease, like a insect bite ease stop itch or something there's a green one in here so they've both lost their labels I'm probably going to throw these out and update those because I've been in here for a while ah oh, glove box that's what I forgot bug off always carry that so you can mix it into your water bottle for your window squirties tire repair kit one that in a raffle actually that was really good and it works so I'll open that up and we'll have a look all right so you got your gas canisters the tool to pull the um, plugs through the ream to uh, roughen up the hole your adapter Your, uh, what's this, uh, rubber solution? Your plugs. Instructions. And a blade. So you can cut the excess off your plugs once they're in. Alright, I'll pack that up in a minute. Zippy ties. Always carry zippy ties. Work manual or the um, service manual. Another little notebook. Remote for the stereo. Never use it. That's a remote for the LCD screen up there on the roof. If I can. Yep, you saw it before. Ooh, an old bank card, a couple of plastic caps for something. So yep, that's the glove box. I might go into a bit more with that phone as well. And this is my flag. It's a 2.8, two-piece powered flag. I don't have the bulb on there at the moment. I didn't put it on, but you get the idea. Actually, you know what? I will put it on. Bear with me. Oh, I didn't think you'd be able to see it very good. Probably still can't. Let's get a zoom in on that. There you go. So that's the LED. There's LED on the other side as well. So they show up really nice at night. Uh, obviously you're not going to be using this on the highway or anything. This is purely for um, emergencies or uh, sand work. I've never been on the beach, but uh, I do plan one day to get there. So yeah, these are the light bars from four-wheel drive super center. I'm not going to go into them now, but uh, I'm really happy with the, uh, the quality of the light uh, for the price. And I'll go more into that on the on the video so guys I think that's about it that's really all I can go over with uh, with T-Rex and oh how did we get the name well it's a Tyranno 2 Tyrannosaurus Rex so T-Rex just in regards to my lighting in here I have an LED uh, strip in there. I think there's uh, what's there 9 12 LEDs in that one And at the back there 
there's a chip um, I will post a picture on about now uh, I got this from geek it was a couple of bucks maybe four dollars delivered it took a couple of weeks to get here but uh, I'll show you some night footage of how bright these lights are that one was from super cheap way overpriced twenty five dollars so uh yeah the amount of light that this one here gets off and that one there uh i would prefer to spend money on that so i'll go over that uh, i'll get i'll get some footage of that okay i've found a dark place of the world to do the interior light test so uh just remember that the windows are tinted and the tint's not that fantastic so it's not going to really show up that well but um here we go now as you can see <laughs> that back light gives off a whole lot more all right let's have a look inside So the LED that's in the middle there uh, is quite good, but this one's a lot better <laughs> and it was uh, a fraction of the price and by fraction I mean a lot cheaper so there's oodles of light there to do whatever you need to do uh, if you need to cook or change a baby or do whatever so that is freaking bright now before I forget the uh, another really cool feature of this car that I really like this is my favorite part is the the engine it's uh it doesn't it's not belt driven uh it's gear driven so um you've got way less chance of your engine throwing a belt and completely ruining everything i've experienced that before with my hilux um it's not fun and it's not cheap especially being diesel so uh that's the 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 main reason why I want to keep this car I, I really can't <clears throat> afford to uh, trade this in she needs a bit of work <coughs> excuse me she needs a bit of work uh, with the steering and suspension um, and a couple of other small things like the speakers the rubbers have degraded around the, uh, the cones so you know some cheap speakers I'm not after a booming sound system at all uh, but I do like my music <laughs> I really do miss it in here because uh, the sound quality is complete rubbish there you have it guys that's the tour of my vehicle or yeah buggy out vehicle if you want to call it that well, I don't because it's just a car so until next time guys thank you for watching if you liked the uh, the video hit subscribe give me the thumbs up leave a comment i'm always after the comments feedback is always good um yeah please ask questions give me suggestions for another video if you want and um we'll, we'll see how we go so until the next video which i'm pretty sure is going to be the led lights see you later take it easy